In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to connect a webcam and a wireless digital picture frame. This will put live pictures on the picture frame. There are many applications for this. For example, uh, it could be used as a baby monitor. It could be used for security. It's used on the other side of the door. Or, as I'll be doing, it could be used to display live images of the sunset. And, since these images go out onto the internet, my parents live in North America, I live in Southern Brazil. My parents will be able to see live pictures of the sunset in my backyard in their living room on another side of the world. Just a quick overview of the project. First, images are captured using a program called Yawcam. Yawcam then uploads them via FTP to the internet. On the internet, they're referenced in, in an RSS feed. A website called framechannel.com reads the RSS feed and sends the URL of the image to the, di the wireless digital picture frame. Then, the frame downloads the image and displays. My digital picture frame is the DSM-210 by D-Link. One of the things about the D-Link is that it does not cache images. In other words, every time it displays an image, even if it's from a URL that it just downloaded, it will download the image again. Now this is good for this application because that means you can reference one image in an RSS feed and the digital picture frame will continually download and refresh that same image and display it. My first step will be making an extension cord for my webcam. The cord that came with the cam isn't long enough to reach the area in the house where I would like to put the um, webcam and point it at the sunset. So I'm going to use this very small USB extension cord, which has both male and female end, and splice it here, just like this. And now I will prepare this, strip the ends a bit, and solder it to this Cat5 networking cable that I have, and just extend it by about 10 to 12 feet. I've got the wire stripped, and I've selected similar colors from the Cat5 and from the USB cable and I'll be putting together the similar colors just help me remember which wire is which on the other end. One other thing about extending a USB cable, there are limitations to how far it can be extended. So check up on that before you try and go too far. As I mentioned before, I live in southern Brazil. I work here as a missionary at a children's home. One thing that hasn't quite caught on here in this part of Brazil is restocking and both of my soldering irons are broken and also as if you would notice with this one it's actually a wooden soldering iron well I went to the hardware store I went to a couple hardware stores none of them have any more soldering irons so here is how you solder without a soldering iron this is just an old uh, small screwdriver and I put it in the heat Okay, now that the hardware is set up, we just need to configure the software. The first thing you'll need is a program called Yawcam. My blog post, there'll be a link to that. Once you've got Yawcam installed and your webcam configured in it, click on Edit Settings. Under Output, you'll see FTP. Let me move this window up here. And you put the image quality to where you'd like it put in your FTP server, your username, your password. I made a username on my FTP server just for Yawcam. That way it would have its own directory. And you need to um, configure the file name. To do that, click image array. Click next. You would want to save the last X images. This is the basic file name. It's fine. Stay with image. Then you can configure how many images you want to keep. What this means is Yawcam will upload images 1 through 10. Once it gets to the 10th image, it'll go back and overwrite the first image. So, for me, I only need one image because my um, picture frame does not cache images, so it will continually reload the pictures that Yawcam is uploading. So I've changed that to one. Now, if you're going to use it for security, you may want to use uh, multiple images so you can have some sort of record. Now the upload interval I have set to a thousand seconds. Uh, for the sunset, that's about 15 minutes, more or less, um, so that'll be a perfect amount of time. Now that that's configured, click on text, which you'll find under overlay. I've already removed it, but usually in this number one, there is a date and time. I don't want that written over 
um, the sunset so I've removed that now you can click on startup on startup make sure to start the FTP output that way if you restart your computer it's automatically going to start it back up and something else that's interesting is the scheduler I don't have it enabled but if I did I could have it enabled just to upload during um, the time when the sun is setting now once you have it configured just click OK and click enable now the OCAM is capturing the images and uploading them to the FTP server. Next then is the RSS feed. Here is just a basic RSS feed. There will be a link to it on the side um, to a template. Uh, what I've done is I've gone through and um, I've put in here just a title. None of this matters because none of this will appear on the picture frame. What matters is this link. It's the link to uh, the image and then because it's a little bit different than your regular news feed RSS feed it has media content and again a link to the image and yet another link to the image this is the thumbnail again this won't be used so this needs to be uploaded pretty much anywhere on the internet um, I put it in the same folder as uh, the images are uploaded to but that's not necessary um, so now that that's configured we need to configure frame channel to um, receive these uh, images. This is framechannel.com. Here we need to scroll down just a bit. As you can see there are actually quite a few different things that you can um, feeds you can receive on your picture frame from framechannel.com. All sorts of news. You can even get Facebook updates, Facebook pictures right on your um, wireless digital picture frame we will be going to add RSS channels add a custom image channel and you want to put in your channel it will make sure and give you a little preview here we go and then I want to add this channel to my device it's added now if I go to settings I can scroll down to my new channel right here and put it on for just evening so that I can go up here and make sure evening is when sunset happens from about 7 o'clock to 8, uh, actually 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock this time of the year. And that's it. Now, every day, 8 to 9 o'clock, pictures of the sunset will automatically appear on my picture frame.